Pussy said he wants some beef, please run up Boy, don't be a hero, boy, don't get fucked up I just caught a body in Hawaii on some mommy shit Just I like two perkies and got sloppy from my thotty bitch Just bought a new pistol, my old pistol caught a body Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Step. We got EJ, and I'm back with a video. And I got a story time for y'all. So, I got a little bit of Kai Mobile gameplay in the back for y'all, you know what I'm saying? Just to keep things a little bit interesting. But, let me get this out the way real quick. I know this ain't got shit to do with the fucking story time video, whatever. But I need to get this out the way real quick. Any motherfucker that uses shotgun and or camp on call of duty battlefield or any shooting game in general i'ma need you to shoot yourself go and join yourself a fucking battery outset do anything you can to rid yourself of this fucking planet because this world would be a hundred percent better without your motherfucking ass we don't need you here we don't need faggots like you here just leave just go go jump off the fucking empire state building because we don't need you here because using a motherfucking shotgun in any fucking game on or camping in any motherfucking game is a gay way to get kills. It's a gay it's a gay way to play the game. This is why niggas don't like y'all. Go go do something. Get, don't play this game. It ain't for y'all faggot ass niggas. Nobody like y'all. Just do anything you can that you can rid yourself of this planet. Now, back to the story time. So this story time is about the time I almost died when I was like seven or eight years old. So it was in the summertime, you know what I'm saying? Out of school. I w it was a cool summer, you know what I'm saying? But we had to, me and my family had to take a visit down south to North Carolina to um go to my aunt Willa May's funeral you know what I'm saying I didn't really remember her like oh like that because you know I you know I stay in Detroit she, she stayed in uh North Carolina I didn't I didn't go down there that often I only been there about two or th maybe two or three times if even that but um we had to go to a funeral, you know what I'm saying? Had to pack our bags and just take a little road trip down to North Carolina. So we was about, we was gonna be down there for about a week. So me, my family, and a couple, you know, a couple of other family members that was going to my aunt's funeral, we had went into the hotel and you know stayed in there for for about a week or so, and then we was gonna go back up to Detroit. So. I, pro I don't know when probably about the second or third day everybody was having fun downstairs in the um pool outside of the um hotel you know what I'm saying it was like everybody just seemed like they was having a good time and I ain't really had nothing to do except for play Mario Kart Wii you know what I'm saying I, I know some of y'all remember them days man them days I had a blast but them weed days be like when nobody wasn't really messing with like xbox and ps3 like that everybody was just playing Wii sports and all that junk y'all remember them days but i saw everybody having fun downstairs i saw a, little cute, a couple of cute girls that was around my age down there so i said hey i want to go out on there and have fun too i'm going to hop in the pool see what i can do now My dad had told my mom to go to Walmart to get us some swimming trunks, you know what I'm saying? Because we ain't really, we ain't having the swimming trunks. So she went to Walmart with my little sister. She came back with some swimming trunks for me and my two little brothers. So we went downstairs with our pops and then my two big cousins, well, three big cousins was down there having fun, you know, splashing in the water. There's a bunch of other people because this, this is a big pool. So, well, I, at least I thought at the time it was a big pool. So, um, now, yeah, this might sound dumb as hell, but I thought swimming, p people could just learn swimming on the first try. I thought swimming was a fucking piece of cake, you know what I'm saying? So, I remember getting in the water 
and now we was not touching no none of the shit in the deep part of the fucking pool, man. I was like, fuck that, bro. I, I, like, I wasn't, I wasn't fucking with it. I was scared, cause you know what I'm saying, the five foot, you know, back then for me, the five foot part of the pool was deep. It was like my, I was even five feet tall yet. You know what I'm saying? I was short as hell. So I just was jumping in the pool, playing with the water guns on like the three foot, four foot side of the uh, pool, right? Just going around having fun, just just shooting people with water guns, and then and then a couple and then I was like trying to talk to a little, talk to these girls that I ain't really had no game. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little I'm I'm a little nigga. I ain't got no sauce, none of that, bro. I'm just a little just a little nigga, bro. So <sighs> I remember one time. Well, I remember us being outside having a having fun for like at least about two hours just having fun my my big cousins would play little pranks with me dump my head in the water sometimes not like violent but just like out of nowhere when I, when they caught me like in there just pushed me in the short side of the uh pool and i fall and then everybody just be you know be laughing i'd be plotting saying i'm gonna get them i'm gonna get them i'm gonna get mine so i saw that after a while more little kids start coming in the short part of the school and the short part of the uh pool so um and mom and i saw my big cousins like go to the deeper parts of the pool because you know they could swim and they was like bigger so the five foot part of the uh <clears throat> pool was not pretty much nothing them because they were swimming they was much taller than me because you know i'm little so I saw this, me and my brother was like getting sick and like, I don't know. I was getting like, kind of like bored because I didn't really know nobody. I wasn't like, I was like a shy little motherfucker. I was not trying to make no new friends with with these kids. You know what I'm saying? These baby kids, all they doing is just screaming, running. And at a young age, I was very like wise and smart, like like nigga i'm they they a lot of my family members said when i was young i was an old man i had an old man so young on the outside old on the inside you know what i'm saying so <clears throat> i saw my cousins having fun over there splashing each other and junk so i wanted me and my brother was trying to have fun with them too you know what i'm saying now like I said earlier, I don't know how to swim. I thought swimming was just a piece of cake. You just supposed to move your arms, you know, in that circular forward motion. I thought that's how you swim. I didn't know you have to like kick your legs or none of that. I thought it was just a piece of cake. I seen people doing this and oh, all right. You know what I'm saying? This should be easy pickets. Like this should be no type of problem. So what I decided to do, I got out the pool and um, I had, got i had got up the pool and went to like the other i started walking all along side of the pool to the deep parts the five foot part so i don't know why i did this dumb shit me and my my brother was my brother had followed me and had me and him had jumped in the five foot part of the pool because in my mind oh I could swim even though I don't know how. All I have to do is just move my arms and not kick my legs or none of that. I didn't know how to swim. So I jumped in first. You know what I'm saying? And all I can remember is that I was moving to the bottom of the pool very, very slow. My vision was getting very, very blurry. And I couldn't see. And I had it's like I, my eyes were squinting because the water was burning my eyes. So I see my brother after about three seconds, no, about two, yeah, about two to three seconds, jumping in the pool. And I didn't even look towards his direction to try to see if he was straight or not because I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to swim. So I'm just flailing my, flailing my arms back and forth. And then I had looked down for like one split second. I could have swore the this pool was infinitely deep like i could not see the bottom because mind you i was short i was little I, I i don't even think i was four feet i don't know 
I don't even think I was four feet tall or whatever. But I looked down for a split second. And I just saw infinitely blue like I was in the ocean. Just long, deep blue. And then I hear people like from under the water outside the pool. Like laughing and laughing the joke. I thought they was all laughing at me. So... I was in the pool, just laying on my arms, trying to get the hang of this, trying to swim, cause I'm losing air. Like, oh, like I didn't know, I didn't know, like how to like hold my breath properly. Like I, like I used to just like take my hand and hold my breath and like hold my nose, but like I didn't, I didn't have like enough willpower, you could say, to like try to hold my mouth and try to, you know, flail my arms and all of that. So I remember. That after about five to probably about 10 seconds when I was just under the water and I couldn't even touch the bottom and I was just flailing my arms like really, really fast as I could. All I know, my one of my big cousins grabbed me by the legs and tried to like push me up because he saw that I was like sinking, but I wasn't really sinking like like fast because it just seemed to me that I was just moving in slow motion. And I couldn't see it that way. He was trying to push me up to get some air. And next thing I know, I look back up for about another two seconds. All I see is my dad jump right in the pool, grab me and my brother out the pool. And I just remember coughing, choking on water. And then I remember just like almost crying. But I had to try to hold my tears in. Because I didn't want to look like a punk in front of all these people. So, after that, my dad was like, why did you jump in the deep part of the pool? I said, I thought I knew how to swim. And then, I don't know why my brother jumped in after me. But, I thought I was straight. I thought I knew what I was doing. So, I remember after all of that, my cousins and everybody was making sure I was straight. Well, me, well making sure me and my brother are straight, if you rather. Um, yeah, they was making sure me and him was straight. And then I just remember just sitting, sitting on the side of the pool in them ch big chairs, just watching everybody have fun. And then after a while, we just went back upstairs. And then it really hit me at that point. Like I really almost lost my life. And that really stuck with me because all I can just remember my vision would just get blurry it's like i was moving in slow motion i was just losing air and then i was talking and then my dad started talking to me and my other me and my brothers about it and then he was he was saying stuff like you know god was looking out for you because you could have drowned and this and that and um it really stuck with me and i just started started crying because in my mind i was thinking I was not trying to die at that point in time. I didn't have, I didn't even get a chance to see nothing for real. I wasn't even like, I didn't even get a chance to like live my life for real. I'm only about 78 years old. I haven't even experienced nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? So that was, he was just saying, God was just looking out for me. And all I remember, I was just crying because I could have really died. You know what I'm saying? That's a scary, that's a scary thing to experience. Your first time almost drowned, that's scary. Because you don't know if you could get saved or not. And my dad was saying when I, when I jumped in the pool, he wanted to see if anybody else was just looking to help me because everybody else was just having a fun time laughing and jump, and nobody really seemed to notice. So that's when he had to jump in. And it seemed like the only person that noticed when they was in the pool was my big cousin. Shout out to him. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that really stuck with me for, like, the rest of my life. That memory will always be in my head for the rest of my life. Just seeing that infinite blue and just, see, like, my vision just getting blurry and then just everything moving slow. But, yeah, that's my little story time. If you like it, I'm going to need you to like, comment, subscribe, share this with your friends, family, whatever. Try to, I'm trying to get more subs, you know what I'm saying? I'm almost at 200, and I'll catch y'all later.